Hey, welcome back, friends. You know, I feel like most people I'm behind with the movies. I know, this is difficult. I know, mm -hmm. I know. As soon as I see a trailer I like, the movie's out in theaters, or I don't know what streaming service <laughs> it's on. There's too much Googling. Okay, you don't have to think about this anymore, because here with his movies, you should keep your eye out for, from the website Paul's Trip to the Movies, we want to welcome back our movie guy, Paul McGuire Grimes. Okay, Paul. Yes. You're going to kick it off with Hocus Pocus 2 as we ease into October. Absolutely. Soon. This is coming out September 30th on Disney Plus exclusively oh. and the Sanderson sisters are back. I mean it's about three high school girls that light the black flame candle and there you've got Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker and Kathy and Jimmy back as the Sanderson sisters for an all new adventure and I, I watching this trailer I just get so excited because it's just like I, it's one of my favorite Halloween movies and it looks just like in tune with the original. They have such great chemistry it's back again with really brand new characters to kind of tell a new story and not have like a rehash of the original. Mm, okay. okay. I, okay, I'm crawling out from underneath the rock. I didn't realize it was, the first one was so popular. Oh, yeah. I mean, it came out like 30 years ago, yep. and ever since then, it has become a cult following. There are Hocus Pocus drag brunches, Hocus Pocus <laughs> bar crawls. I mean, it has taken over. It's amazing. Oh, I, 30 years, though, and so I know. Wild, like, all of those women came back to do yeah. it. I, I mean, everyone's fabulous. been asking them for a sequel, and yeah. I think they really all wanted to. Bette Midler said it's one of her favorite movies that she's ever done. Okay, so streaming exclusively on Disney+. Plus. September 30th, oh. yeah. Well, I gotta watch the original again and yes. then get this one. Okay. okay, so what do you think? Okay, it's coming November 11th. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever in the theaters. And this is really, you know, talking about the death of T'Challa, talking about the death mm. of Chadwick Boseman, yeah. really kind of paying homage to him, what he meant to audiences, this world of Wakanda. And again, you got this Lupita Nyong'o, Angela Bassett, Denai Guerrero is back. And like any good Marvel sequel, the action scenes are bigger. The costumes are gorgeous. And it really is going to be a very emotional movie. I mean, I watched the trailer and I just well up thinking about the impact that Chadwick Boseman has had. This is the other one. I haven't seen the original. Oh, oh it's really good. I have to see it. One of my favorite Marvel yes. movies. Okay, but Absolutely. this is exciting. So then, is that that's going to be in theaters? In theaters, said? November 4th. And, or November 11th. And it's going to be what they call the end of phase four for Marvel. Oh. Okay. So the first one is on Disney Plus. Okay, okay so then what's after that. phase four? F phase five. It's <laughs> not, I'm like, it's it not just ending. Like, they keep soon. making money yes. off of all these things. Yeah, like, another Ant-Man movie yeah. is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so that's one to look forward to. Another one that's coming out November 23rd is The Fable Men. This is going to be your Thanksgiving release. This movie has my name all over it. This is from Steven Spielberg. He co-wrote it with Tony Kushner. And it really is going to be a memory piece for him. It's about his childhood, his family, growing up and how he became a filmmaker, him as a kid filmmaker. And Paul Dano, Michelle Williams are playing playing his parents, and it looks so emotional. This just had a premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. People are raving about it, saying it's one of Spielberg's best, and I think Michelle Williams actually could get an Oscar for this. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so it's not Steven Spielberg, but it is? Is that, I yeah, mean, it, I mean he's, are they basing this character of that kid yes, on yeah. him? Yeah, I okay. mean, he, he's dabbled with his parents' divorce in movies like E.T. and mm -hmm. Close Encounters. Like, he's used his family before, but this is directly telling a story, and he kind of felt inspired during, during COVID to like, what could be my last movie? What stories do I still want to tell? And this was like, I want to talk about my childhood. And you know, they're not called the Spielbergs, they're called the Fable yeah. Men. But it's, it's not really... an autobiography by any means. I mean, I think it, it'll skew a little yeah, bit, but it, you will okay. learn a lot about Spielberg by watching this Very, movie. very cool. I, I love everything that he does. Okay, oh, completely. The next one is a mystery. Which yes. would be super fun. Yes. If you love Knives Out, this is the next Knives Out movie. So it's called Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Daniel Craig is back as Detective Benoit Blanc. This is going to be on Netflix December 23rd, that Christmas release. And again, Ryan Johnson, like, rebooted the whole murder mystery whodunit genre with Knives Out. And it's just another detective, it's another detective story with him. That's Dave Bautista. So you have him, you got Katherine Hahn, Janelle Monet, Leslie Odom Jr., Kate Hudson, and they're all in Greece for with this movie. And again, this was just at the Toronto Film Festival. People raving about it, saying it's even better than Knives Out. Tons of twists and cameos. And that is saying something. I, I loved Knives Out. Did you watch no, Knives Out? No, I haven't seen that. Oh, I, oh, 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 yeah. so so I love it. Yeah. Oh, I watched it on a Delta <laughs> flight, and I'm like, this is great. I yes. need to watch this again yeah. on a bigger screen. You guys so are, you know, listen, have you watched the latest season of Virgin River? Because I have. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. Okay. All right, one more before we go. Okay, so this is coming out at Christmas. It's called Babylon. This is from Janine Chazelle, who did Whiplash, La La Land. And it's got Margot Robbie, Brad Pitt, uh, Gene Smart in this phenomenal headdress. And it really is 1920s in Hollywood, 
ambition, desires. It, this can be a huge award season consideration. Elizabeth questions. Okay, no, I yeah. think that sounds good. Okay. I'm ready for that. I, yeah. I just it could like, be wacky like, and just I like all over the place. I like these movies with all these big movie stars. Yeah, like, oh, this, this is, is great. Yeah, a lot of these movies had huge, huge ensembles, stars. big movie stars, award season all over it. Thank yeah. you, Paul. Yeah, wait, they, yeah. I'm now excited for these movies. <laughs> I'm very excited. Stuff to catch up on. All right, visit Paul's website at paulstriptothemovies.com for updates and reviews of movies and the streaming services. Okay, TCL's Movie Trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting. They have all the latest options for fans, outdoor lighting, and more and the team at Muska Lighting would be happy to help you find the right fixture. They have beautiful showrooms in Eden Prairie and Roseville. All right, next up we're going to tackle some pesky tech problems like, you know, the reason you might be getting those randomly sign outs of Netflix. We just talk about streaming services and sometimes they can be frustrating. And you can't remember your password. Okay, let's take a look at the weather on the way. It's sponsored by Apollo Heating and Air Conditioning.